So here's take 2,595, no shame in my game. Baby, I am here to deliver a message to my fellow entrepreneurs, to my fellow like-minded individuals, to my fellow peers and friends and family, that in this world, in this life, we owe it to ourselves to be honest. We owe it to ourselves to be honest with ourselves. And this has been a topic of discussion that has been weighing heavy on my heart and mind and I've been communicating it and dissecting it and diving into it the past five months that I have spent off social media. And it has been something that I've struggled with with my entire life through adolescence, but at the time I didn't care so much or it wasn't that I didn't care, but my, my, my care and desire to be liked didn't drive me to change or feel I had to put on a facade to gain respect or business. And now that I'm in this business realm, I am struggling to show up, period. I am struggling to show up as myself wholeheartedly. And it's primarily fear-based due to the fact that when you don't fit a mold, when you per se are a misfit, when you feel you are a bit extreme, abstract, unique, different, you fear rejection. You fear rejection because oftentimes people that are not a part of the matrix, people that are taking the path less traveled, people that are showing up as authentic as their entity is, happen to be rejected oftentimes in the society because that is how we are shaped and morphed through social media, through any media, um, to be a sheep. And I'm getting in, I'm getting into the depths here, but I guess my message this morning and what I wanted to bring to you guys is that I'm f- going to start showing up as myself and that may cringe some of you and that may scare some of you and that may appeal some of you and the purpose of it and the purpose of why I'm coming around now is because it has been eating me away that I haven't discovered quite who I am and who I want to be and I think a lot of my roadblock due to that is because I'm showing up in a way that does not feel genuine to who I am and it's not that I'm saying I'm a phony or that I have been showing you this fake version of me it is solely fractions of myself and the rest I keep tucked away in a hidden folder within my brain collecting dust because I've grown to perhaps not like that person due to rejection, due to abandonment, due to whatever it may be. And the reality is, is that person is not a bad person and I need to dust her off and embrace myself through business and attract those like-minded to myself so that my life is abundant and full of love and humanity and like-minded individuals who get one another and not try and sell myself and sell my soul and dignity and values and legacy for a dollar for the hopes of acceptance so that i can continue to provide for my child i'm creating this message not because i'm here to tell you interest rates are going down honey because they are but you can do that research and i'll make another video on that later but i want to get into some real deep gritty nitty stuff because my legacy isn't just to sell you a house And a matter of fact, I'm working on a lot more than just real estate right now. And I'm super excited to bring it to you within these next six months. I'm I'm creating a whole entire online platform where I can help teach uh, financial literacy and encourage people to learn how to manage their finances so that they can eventually invest in something as grand and as bold and big as real estate. Because you can go back to the dawn of time and the richest men are those that own land. It is it is it is a hierarchy, it is, it is the status quo, right? <clears throat> to own a piece of this earth that was stolen, but let's not go there. Whoa. Anyway, so I just, I'm hoping that I'm reaching 
those that are online, that are trying to grow their business, that is trying to grow their following, that is trying to grow their financial success and just feel that they're coming up falling short. I want you to ask yourself, are you staying and remaining genuine to yourself or are you following the the masses and the matrix and being a sheep in, in the disguise of humanity, in the categories of humanity? Because me, myself, as a misfit, I feel I've always felt in my life, it is easier to be rejected because society, the media, everything is always putting in our brain to be this way or that way or this way or that way. And that's the only way that you're gonna be accepted because look at what she's doing, so do exactly as they. And I just can't imagine continuing life and losing self for approval. I think that if we continue to show up every day as ourselves, as our authentic, raw, real, cringy self, that it will pay off. And I guess this is here to document day one of me officially deciding that I don't want to be a phony. I don't want to show fractions of myself. I am who I am and who I am is a person full of love and guidance and intellect and the strange and the bizarre that I obtain does not diminish the capabilities I have on delivering you a successful sale or finding you your dream home or educating you on topics around finance and abundance and a positive mindset and spirituality amongst the realm of business and finance. So with that being said, and without further ado, I look forward to interacting with you all and reintroducing myself as Lydia Carranza Richard, the strange and unusual. All right, my name is Lydia for Christ's sake. You love me, you hate me. It don't matter to me, baby, because we're not sent here on this mission on earth to follow the crowd. We are here to pave a way, to experience things, to allow our spirit to experience things that we would not experience if we settled for normalcy. So I hope this encourages those that have maybe been feeling out of pocket, out of place, lost i know that feeling very well and i'm here to tell you that 2024 is all about self-reflection and um staying true staying true to you and watch the business flow so here we go here we go